In a previous video, we looked at creating this can with the ridges on here. And I said something about how to move those ridges. Let's say they were too close to the bottom. So I want to show you how you could uh, move those ridges and also change the um, size of the area that you have ridges in. All right, so uh, these are the layers that we have. And if I come to this layer, this is the layer that we put the tile generator on. I'm going to come over to the black mask. This is where we actually painted our mask. All right, so this part has the actual pattern. This part is the mask that decides where the ridges will go. So what I'm going to do is click on the black mask, and I'm going to come up to the magic wand, add a filter, and the filter I'm going to choose is the transform filter. So now nothing has happened yet. As I move the offset X, I can move these ridges up or down. All right, so maybe I want them in the middle or something like that. Or maybe I want them back further down near the bottom. So with that transform filter, I'm just going to reset it to zero. You can adjust where you want the pattern that we created over here to appear. Now, the other thing might be, uh, I'll just leave the transform filter there. Let's say we we this is too much of an area for ridges or too little. If I click on the paint layer and I want to adjust this mask, I'm going to paint a little bit more. So I've grabbed my square alpha and it's white. If I press X and it's black, well, let's try that. If it's black and I hold down shift and control and I just drag through this UV, it's just easier on the UVs. I erase part of that mask so I have a smaller area. Now I can change the size of those if I want, make them smaller, maybe it looks better. If I press X and I go back to white, I hold shift and control, I can increase the area where I want those ridges. I'm just going to delete that, and now we're back to where we were. All right, so that's two things. That's using the transform filter to move those and using uh, more paint to either increase the size or decrease the size of the area where you want that pattern. Now, the final thing I want to say is I'd like you to think about this tip about using the tile generator to put these ridges and you should be asking yourself well you know i can see how i could make an aluminum or a tin can with this what else can i use this tile generator for can i imagine that i'm going to make the handle of a flashlight and i'm going to use the tile generator i can adjust how big of an area i want my pattern i can change my pattern i can change the sizes etc so there's there's one application um, could you use some kind of transparent holes um, to create the barrel of uh, some kind of a gun using the tile generator? Could I use this maybe with a smaller size here, like something like, you know, this? Could I create some kind of a decorative trim on a building or on a cylinder? Maybe this is a Greek pillar or something like that. What can I use this for? What happens if I rotate the tile generator vertically? Could I create those indents in the pillars? And finally, what would happen if I used more than one tile generator? Maybe you take this layer and you copy it, make a new mask a little higher up. For example, can I do that? Can I do something like this? This might be the same kind of thing, but leave a little bit of space. Ah, there we go. Maybe make it a little bit thinner. Now I have two rows of these ridges, all right? I mean, they're not close together and they're on the same layer. So if I use the transform on this, it's gonna move everything. But what if I had two separate layers, each with a tile generator, and I push them close together, could I almost use it like a trim texture with a design on one and a different design on the other and build them up? What if you use multiple tile generators? All right, so hopefully this tip about the can actually leads you to new places where you're not just making cans, you're doing something else. And of course, I'd love to hear about that either here or on the Zero Bio Discord. All right, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.